So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse and what she is offering for the season. If you guys don't know, we usually look at Eververse uh, individually for the first week of an event or a uh, season, just so that way we can see what she's selling, what she's offering. And basically, that's really it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know if I'm going to make an individual season video just because specifically reviewing the season pass. We'll probably do it at the end. If not, if it's too long, then we'll probably just save it for another video. So let's start off with the Bright Dust. Tight Smoke. I personally really like Tight Smoke. I think Tight Smoke is a really good shader. M don't mind the, the look. I'm doing the uh, <clears throat> the individual armor sets for the seasonal armor because I got, I got it all for everyone already. I got Dream Cycle. This is a dope shader. I already got this from this. It, it was available this week. Definitely get it because this is from a bundle. So definitely pick it up. We have Lattice Entrance, which looks pretty cool. We have Eggshell, which reminds me of the girl from Wally. -E. We have Experimental Mishap, which does not have an exit animation, which kind of sucks. Yeah. And then stuff at the bottom, we have Explosion. Definitely pick this ornament up because again, this is from a bundle. If I remember correctly, this, this one and the shader up there. I think it's both from the same thing. I might be super duper wrong on that. Let me know in the comments below, but it definitely pick this up, especially if you have a Vex look for one of your classes, because we do have this shader. Uh, unfortunately, it is a paid shader, but we do have it in game. Uh, Chelicerate Visitor, <clears throat> not the biggest fan of this Sparrow, kind of looks like goofy. Assembly Stinger, this also looks goofy, but I feel like this just is funny just because of, yeah. Uh, we have Scribe Shell, which I definitely want to pick up because I kind of want to do like an Explorer look for my Hunter. Uh, face Palm. Yeah. And then uh, a Tiny Friend, which I think does have a exit animation. Yeah, it does. Which is cool. Uh, then we have the Transmet effects, which I will not be looking at. The Wait, do we look at Transmet? Transmet? No, we don't look at Ghost Projections. All right, let's see the Harpy Entrance. That's okay. Box of, eh. <clears throat> Boring. Yeah. Uh, for the sh for the shaders, Raven Silk. I like this shader quite a bit, especially if you go for an armored look, because it gives that armor like a very like textured, uh, rough look. We have Grayscale Undergrowth, which I like this shader quite a bit. <clears throat> I know, like, I know, like. Last week, I think it was, I was talking shit about the shader, but it's growing on me. I don't know what it is, but like, it's just kind of looking cool. It looks more cool. The like, or I should say it looks cooler. The more I look at it, uh, vibrant beach. This one looks like ass. Never, I'm never going to like this one. And then 44 steel, <clears throat> which definitely looks cool. Wow. Wow. That looks cool. All right. Let's get to the stuff that we are. I'm not going to be looking at all of this just because it is a lot. And at the end of the day, uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, if I'm being quite honest, a lot of this does not matter. If this was in game, that'd be a different story just because it, I would actually be more interested in that. The fact that that's uh, weird though. I don't know. The pricing is just odd. Cause it's like almost 20 bucks for these three, which do nothing in game. So I don't know. Weird. We have volatile throne bundle, which has a really good purple shader. Uh, to the point where I'm, I like really want to pick the shader up because it gives a really cool texture, almost like a glow to, uh, pieces that don't have glows. So I definitely want to pick it up. I also want to see what it looks like with a glow. Actually, yeah, let's go check that out real quick. Um, <clears throat> let's have to go over here. We're going to put on, not that one. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll we'll just put put this one on. Cause I want to see what the uh, what the glow color is. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna buy it, but I'm just more interested. I'm more here, the purple. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So it's funny that this glow is like right here because these are off colors, and I mean like it's off textures. I should say like these take the off color. So it's gonna be interesting to see what what I can do with it when I get my hands on it, which I will get my hands on it when they sell it probably next season. Uh, we have, oh, we should probably look at the ornament as well, huh? Yeah, like it doesn't look bad, 
but I feel like I've seen this ornament already, which is not a good thing. Uh, we have unblockable, it's unbreakable, it's unbreakable. Sorry, I was remembering a video. Instinctive archery, and then uh, improvised hammer. <clears throat> so for the ornament for the hunters, it's gonna be specifically this one right here, which is pretty cool considering the hunters is the only one that got uh, an, an exotic ornament for an old ornament, if that makes any sense. So it's this one right here. And the special effect is actually pretty cool. It gives a slight glow. It's nothing too crazy. So don't expect anything insane, but it does give like a glow right here, a glow on the, on the teeth and at the bottom as well. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that this happen on the arms as well. Like maybe the eyes right here glow, the, the tongue glows, and then the stingers glow as well. And then maybe some of the scales glow up too. I, I think that would have been cool. Uh, just because, uh, yeah, they would have, I don't know, like the random glow is cool, but at the same time, like it, it, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. I'm also interested to see if the, the glow changes color. I highly doubt it, but you know, might never know. Uh, we have <clears throat> boosted backflip. Yeah, risky archer. Okay. We have knighting ceremony. Wild. Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. It's so weird. My clan, my clan leader should get this. He's he get a kick out of it. Uh, nothing to see here. That's funny. We have weekday dance. I already hate it. A yo yo trick. <clears throat> and all the ghost uh, ships and sparrows. More emotes. Yeah. Unyielding march. What the fuck? That's funny. Uh, square dance. Hoverboard. Interesting. Magic wand. Yeah, I don't really care for emo emotes unless like they're really, really cool. So like if I sound a little like bored, it's because I am. I don't really care about emotes, like not even slightly. So that's why I'm just kind of like, whatever, like. I'm literally just doing this to appease that one commenter. Yeah, I'm still bringing it up. Um, <clears throat> okay, wow. Okay, cool. So projections, we're not going to look at that. So for the ornaments, it's got, actually going to be for Caliban's hand. This one, I'm actually really interested. Um, definitely, I'm going to make some videos for the ornaments for the classes. So be looking out for that. It's most likely going to be coming out this week as well because uh, I am pushing out some content. Unfortunately... I should probably say this now, my, one of my hard drives, the one that had all of my recordings just fucking died. So thankfully I have a, a really big hard drive that I have all of my, my like work stuff, like specifically the channel stuff. <clears throat> so I'm using that one for now until I can get a new hard drive because I don't like to have my, my recordings in the same one as my big one because in it, for this exact situation, if that hard, if the recordings hard drive dies, then I can always get one. But if the the important one dies, then I'm pretty much fucked for, like it would it would fuck me over for like at least two weeks because I would have to make all of the stuff that I do in the background, like I would have to do that all over again. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the content that I like the first week of the first mission, I did it all on all classes the, the first day. And I recorded it. I was going to have it up, but unfortunately I lost that footage. Um, I was thinking about it. You know what? doesn't matter. Either way, this looks cool. I'm going to have this out most likely by the end of this week. So by Saturday, probably. If not, you guys will definitely see it by next week. And then uh, the uh, character Arachnic's, uh facade. I actually think this looks cool. Uh, my, oh, I don't know. Like It looks cool. But I would have liked a a more uh, how do you say I guess a more tactical look. 
Like, it's this still, I can still make it look tactical, but I wish it was more like humanoid and more stylized because this just kind of looks like, like a boring robot to me. So that is pretty much it. We have ornaments as well. Final, uh, for the final warning, flowing Phoenix. This is literally just a shader change aside from this up here. I think other than that, it literally just looks like a shader change for me. Um, we have anomalous domain. This is also a shader change. Uh, and when I say shader change, I specifically mean that none of the geometry really does change that much, if any, and it's literally just shader, like just a different color. We have inner beauty, which this is more of an, I think this doesn't look like a shader change, but I could be wrong. Either way, I like the shader. Like this is a shader from Leviathan and it's callous themed specifically cabal, uh, Leviathan cabal callous theme because I have to actually make sure I'm not saying the, like the, what is it? The not final shape, the light fall cabal. Cause those are different. Oh, we have future past, which is an okay ornament for a shitty fucking bow. We have the infinite quiver, which we already did see ceremony, ceremonial arsenal for the navigator, which looks cool. Cool. I just wish I had this gun like for Rosie's and then Huckleberry with dancing Harlequin, which on, on the one hand, I think it's cool because it does change the, uh, the geometry. My gripe is just the color, honestly. And it's not even that. Oh, it's pink. Gross. I love pink. pink it's one of my favorite colors. It's more so, uh, I don't know. Like I love pink, but I don't like to wear pink because I feel like it's just too flashy sometimes. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments below. As for the other classes, we're going to check out, uh, them real quick. Titans, you ended up getting contingent charge, which you guys will, I know some of you are like, this looks weird. What did, what did this even go with? It actually goes with a new ornament that they sold, which is over here, which is the armamentarium secondary, uh, energy. So on the one hand, I know some people are going to be in either two camps. They're going to either be in camp one where they're going to be like, oh, that's really cool that they gave us a new, a new ornament for, uh, armamentarium. And then the exotic ornament, the like additional or ornament is that is part of that as well, which is really cool. And on the other hand, people are going to be like really shady that the, the extra exotic ornament you can uh, only goes well or pairs with the new ornament that's on sale forever. So it's going to be either you like it or you think it's scummy because now you have to pay double to see what the other one does. And I'm, I'm in the middle. Like I completely agree. I think it's cool that they added a new ornament for it or a new exotic ornament for the new ornament. I gotta, I gotta figure out a name for this shit. What is it called? They have to have a name for this. Cause I keep, um, <sighs> I'm just going to call it a complimentary ornament, I guess you would say, because that's kind of what it is. So yeah, I know people are going to be like mad that this ornament has a complimentary complimentary ornament that you have to pay for considering that this you already have to pay for. So I know people are going to get mad about that, but I don't really care at the end of the day. Uh, Bungie's going to do whatever they want. I'm kind of have given up on the fight because quite frankly, there is no fight. They control everything. And for those longtime veterans of my channel, you guys will know that back in the day, I used to, I used to really like really get annoyed about this. I just don't really care anymore. I'm too old to care. Like Bungie can do whatever they want. Uh, and then Abeyant Leap, which I'm not gonna lie. Like Reticule Lock looks cool. I think it looks super, super cool. And I guess my only gripe is I wish this area wasn't empty. Cause it feels super empty. That being said, I'll probably cover it up with a mark maybe, but I do wish we had a little bit like maybe more ammo right here, like ammo, uh, grenades or something else, because like, this is supposed to be tactical, obviously because of the camo and then the grenades. And then this, like, I definitely will use this for my tactical look because I do think Titans needed a tactical ornament. So I'm really excited to use this. And then for the Rorlocks, you guys got Royal favor which is again, a new ornament, uh, a new, yeah, a new ornament. It's over here, right here. Let me see. Let me see. It's over here for contra controversial hold. And again, you're going to be in one of those camps where you're going to love it or hate it. I, again, I don't want to talk about it cause I already brought it up, 
I think the armor looks okay. Um, I don't know. Like, it definitely looks cool, and I can't wait to see people do some really cool uh, Dreaming City-inspired looks. But if I'm being honest, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys feel about it in the comments below. Uh, and then we have Swarmers, which is super cool because they got a like a casual look. So I'm actually really excited to pick this up because I'm going to be doing some casual sets for the Warlocks. And yeah, I just I think it looks so cool. So let me know what you guys are excited for to pick up uh, 17 minutes. Yeah, I'll probably do the seasonal stuff later just because we we have quite a bit and the video won't be too long so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys again i do apologize that these videos are gonna take a little bit longer than usual specifically the ones later because oh my hard drive just shit on me and yesterday i was just kind of like i was on the i was on the verge of just like break having a breakdown because there's always something problematic in my life that i can never have anything good for long because then just something bad happens and i'm like what the fuck bro like i just want to i just want to I don't want to talk about it. Either way, I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.